Hi there, Virgos. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, I got an image for you similar to what I saw for Taurus, but there's a little bit of a difference. Um, what I saw for Taurus last week, and uh, it's an image of a gardener. Um, except for you guys, it seems better. I, I think like the, the, the mood is a little bit more optimistic. So what I'm seeing is you're in your backyard and you have a very spacious backyard. It's rectangular and you're a man wearing a straw hat and um, you have like one of those, um, I don't know what they're called. It's a gardening tool. It looks like a tiny little shovel where you can dig up dirt, but it's it's very small. It's a handheld tool. I don't even know what they're called, but you're looking at the sun and you're looking at your garden and you're just like, okay, these plants, they're not getting enough sunlight. So I'm going to move these pots into the front. So then they they can get more sunlight. I feel like, you know, in a way you understand that there, yes, mother nature takes care of everything. And but you understand that, you know, sometimes mother nature might need a helping hand. So if these potted plants are under the a tree and they're covered like the trees getting all the sunlight and the, the pots are not, then I'm going to move it to the front where it can get a little bit more sunlight. It's sort of like helping to balance out a situation, making sure everything is fair and making sure that, you know, everyone thrives. OK, and then I also see you. Um, if it's a big plant, you're giving it more water. If it's a little plant, you're giving it less water. So you're definitely at a point where you are trying your best to balance things out. You want to, you, you want to give everybody kind of like, you know, equal opportunity. So you're an equal opportunist <laughs> and, um, it just feels to me like sometimes this can be very exhausting, right? You guys are really considerate and I feel like Virgos, you observe everything. Nothing goes undetected and nothing goes un unnoticed. You know who's really good working, uh, good working, hard working. You know who's really hard working. You know who slacks off and you know who's being pretentious and who's being truthful. Like none of these things go undetected. But a big part of you is very much like a Libra where you want situations to be fair. So if someone is really hardworking, you want them to thrive. You will do everything in your capabilities to make sure that they thrive. If someone is very, very lazy, you hope that the universe will, you know, deal them justice, right? But at the same time, you're not going to do things to sabotage them because that's not you. And so in a way, you have a really good heart and you help when you can and you help people equally whenever you can. So it's not about holding grudges or holding resentment or, you know, wishing ill upon another person, even if you don't like them. I, I feel like you you want everyone to thrive. And in a way, you also believe that, you know, like all of these flowers, all of these plants, in this garden, everything um, has its place and, and the presence or the existence of everything enhances the value of the garden, right? It enhances the beauty, it enhances the diversity of the garden. And I feel like that's what you really want. You want a robust, a thriving, a diversified garden. And you know that everyone has their good traits and they should contribute to, you know, the, the growth of a situation. So coming in for this week, okay, it, it, it just feels to me like some of you have been feeling a little bit jaded, okay, like a little bit jaded. What I have here is the hermit in the reverse. So this is the person that tends to things, okay? This is the person that looks out for everybody, and this is the person that sees everything. They might not verbalize everything that they see. They might not share their, their, their observations, but they see everything. When it's in the reverse position, it's sort of like seeing things that people are trying to hide from you. You know, like the less than admirable traits, the selfishness, the, the shadiness, the, the things that people think um, it's like getting one over on you. You see it all and you don't call people out on it because 
you're not a confrontational person and i also feel like you're not a confrontational sign but i also feel like you do believe in this sense of divine justice you know that if they're going to be like that one day they're going to get what's coming to them and so you kind of leave it alone and what i feel like happen what i feel is really happening is that you stand by your truth and you hang on to your truth but you feel little by little that other people are not doing the same thing. So is it fair for me to do what's right when other people are never doing what's right and um, they keep advancing? Okay, not you're, you're, you're questioning whether or not divine justice exists. You're questioning whether or not people will get what's due to them. And you're questioning whether or not there is uh, somebody watching out and keeping score and 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 is going to try to rectify the situation So like is there a higher power out there that is going to you know dish out justice in the end? At the end of our lives, you know, are these people going to get away with their actions at the end of at the end of um, our lives You know will there be some type of a recognition for for the things that other people have done for the things that i have done so i i feel like there's some there's some big questions that you're you're asking yourself that you're encountering and it just feels to me as if your faith in people has been a little bit shaken okay um once again i'm seeing like you know it's exhausting being on a virgo it's exhausting mainly because you see everything and you do everything and um, people take you for granted they take advantage of the situation they take you for granted knowing that you're always there that you never shy from hard work you never shy away from hard work you also never mind getting your hands dirty you do what needs to be done so it's it can be very exhausting and can, it can feel a little bit lonely being a virgo you do a lot for other people and yet you the other people are the ones in the limelight the, are the ones getting the recognition this is the week where you are going to get the recognition that you deserve okay this is the week where i feel like people will start to thank you will start to see will start to match your contributions okay so there will be some events happening for this week where you're going to be in the limelight and you don't crave the attention in the limelight just for you know the 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 fame and fortune i feel like you want to set an example and i also feel like people are coming to that sense of awareness where they know you're not doing this just to get into the limelight you're doing this because it needs to be done because it's the right thing and because this is what we're supposed to be doing because it's why we're here we don't want to tend to a dead garden we don't want our plants to die right so we have to rearrange we have to shuffle around yes it is a lot of hard work nobody wants to do it but it needs to be done and that is how we should treat an entire situation do what needs to be done okay rather than keeping scores about who's doing what and um, who's putting in you know who's putting in the effort so I feel in a way it's like you if you were dealing with other Virgos you don't need to keep scores but if you're dealing with other signs it, it just feels like one person steps up and then the other person's all like oh you're doing the work now I don't have to so it's like it doesn't absolve the other person from doing the work as well and it can feel very very frustrating right like reasoning or rationalizing that with another person so that they understand where you're coming from um we do have a lot of um a lot of recognition coming through in this spread okay so your 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 actions your contributions are not going unnoticed you have somebody that is kind of like living in your shadows and they're emulating you and they're going to look at you and they're just going to be like, 
I want to be like that Virgo. So you're setting a really good example or you're being a, a very positive role model for another person. And so sometimes we do things and we feel like we're not getting the thanks and the recognition for it. Um, but I feel like there are always people watching. There will always be that sense of divine justice where, you know, maybe the uh, unintended consequence is that somebody looks at what you're doing and they're just like, I'm going to be like that person. So you're changing hearts, like, you know, one person at a time. You're changing minds one person at a time. So it doesn't feel to me like it's this extravagant, you know, um, rush of good karma coming back to roost. But it seems like it's happening little by little and it's going to change the trajectory um, of everybody that's involved, like the, the, the mindset or the life trajectory or the choices that they're making in the future, little by little, the change is, um, it's like you, you, you have been on the forefront of this new wave of change and you're getting the ball rolling. So, you know, like how, if you're pushing a boulder, right? The f first few initial pushes, it seems really, really, really difficult. It feels so heavy. But once it starts going, it's going to gain traction and momentum and it's going to snowball and just, you know, get larger and bigger and bigger. OK, and in general, just gain velocity. So I feel like it can feel like a daunting task pushing a boulder. But once things get going, it's going to be a lot easier. OK, so trust in the process and trust that. Trust that one day you're going to get to the end of, you know, the light at the tunnel and it's going to be all worth it. So one day you're going to have that clarity. One day you're going to have that sense of divine justice. And one day none of these things will matter because people will be uh, emulating, you know, your, your, your behavior and they will try to do the right thing. Um, I do feel as well, there's a lot of communication here check your emails um really fast time sensitive type of communication you guys are really good timekeepers and you're you're very good about you know um marking your calendars marking uh keeping track of start dates and due dates and end dates but i feel like something's in the works that you have to respond to and i feel like some of them could be like invitation and you know somebody is just like all of a sudden thinking about you they shoot you an email and they're like do you want to go to this party um you know tomorrow or tonight so i feel like last minute communication for opportunities for fun for excitement for going out for socializing for reconnecting with people that you've been um longing to hear from but they're very time sensitive okay so these are like unexpected communication coming through from people and it's very fast and you know there's like a short window of opportunity for you to respond so check your emails check your messages make sure that if it takes my rule of thumb when it comes to emails or communication in general if it takes me less than 30 seconds to respond you i try to respond right then and there if it takes me longer than a minute then i you know don't respond to it until i have time so that is something that I feel like, you know, you, you want to have a system to organize, to organize like what is worth responding to. And uh, rather than just, you know, um, reading them or reading the emails or the text messages and then forgetting about them, because I feel like you have to respond in a time sensitive manner. I'm also seeing as well, for those who are single, for those who are single, there has been a past relationship you have left behind as well. And I feel like, you know, you're coming into a space where career is going really, really well. Like you're, you don't have financial issues that I'm seeing in the spread. You don't have uh, financial concerns. I see some of you are changing up your wardrobe, like getting things that are custom made, like, um, uh, getting suits, getting dresses, getting things that are made specifically for your body type, for your taste, or for your standards. Okay, like um, spending or having the disposable income in order to get like custom made clothes. That's saying a lot. And I feel like some of you are losing weight. You're taking your clothes in. Um, some of you are 
I feel like um, I don't see weight gain so much, but I feel like maybe you're going to the gym and so you're like filling out in all the right places and so you're getting clothes that are a little bit more form fitting, okay, to you know accentuate the the your best assets. So I definitely see a lot of um, a lot of new clothes, a lot of like reinventing yourself, getting haircut, getting hairdos, getting like a new color, hair color. Um, changing just the way that you look and maybe I, I see like you're doing this because you are putting yourself out there in the dating uh, world or you have recently landed a job where you're very visible in the public eye so you have to look a certain way so either way it looks really good okay so you're you're splurging you have to dis the disposable income to do so and I feel like it's it's looking really good um, I'm also sensing as well, we have here the sun in the reverse position and the sun is, it seems to me like shying from, like shying away from the spotlight, um, feeling a little bit like um, self-conscious as well, you know, not feeling completely confident, not feeling at our best and not wanting to be on center stage like if you have to do presentations if you have to give a speech if you have to do something where you're in the public eye i feel like you can be you can appear a little bit stiff and a little bit um just kind of robotic and i feel like you guys are aware of this and you're you're actively working on it okay to make yourself a little bit more spontaneous um, like if you're in front of a crowd giving a speech, you want to know like, what do I do with my hands? Um, I don't want to just, you know, have my hands down by my side. It looks awkward. So you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're rehearsing things and you're trying to find ways to act natural. <laughs> so yeah, you, you guys are trying to find ways to look natural, appear natural or act natural. And um, it's going to come rehearse it enough don't take yourself don't take things so seriously okay just um ease up a little bit and i don't know how else to explain it but i feel like you know repetition rehearsing things will make the situation a lot better will make it flow a lot better and will make it a see, uh, appear a lot more natural you guys are natural orators like you you speak really well and when you speak uh, you guys are experts in your field, so you you don't you know go around and, and blab about things that you don't know anything about. Like you're actually very cautious about sending out the right information. You're cautious about how you come across. You're cautious about how you speak, and you want to make sure that you have all the information before you open your mouth. And I feel like a lot of the times, um, you don't appear confident enough. And so rehearsing things and, you know, letting things flow naturally. Um, don't rehearse it word for word. Think about, group them into cause and effect. Group them into, you know, chronological order. So as long as you have an understanding of what comes first, what comes second, what comes third, then you would already know how to logically arrange and recall the information so that you don't have to, you know, remember or memorize something verbatim. So that process is, is going to help, okay? Um, I feel here... Let me see. I, I see a fire sign, so a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. This is somebody that um, could be a family member, could be a lover, could be an ex, okay? But I feel like um, they're kind of careless. They have the best intentions in the world, okay? They have the best intentions in the world, but they're kind of careless. Um, I see somebody who's very clumsy and they might uh, fall, they might trip, they might injure themselves. I'm seeing like scraping their knees, um, bumping their, their like snubbing their toes. Um, so they're very, very careless. And I, I feel like they're going to be around your space or there's going to be a lot of interaction with this person. And they're, they're quite comical. They're very careless. And I feel like... Their communication is very clumsy. You're going to be getting a lot of communication from this person. I'm also seeing an air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And um, this is somebody that they're very, very, very intelligent. 
but I also feel like they're um, they're definitely emotionally kind of stunted, emotionally unaware. They're they're a, a little bit emotionally underdeveloped or unaware, so they're not really um, conscious about how they come across to other people. They seem to me to be a little bit harsh, and I feel like. There's a lot of communication between you and this person and they're coming to you and they're asking you, hey, what's wrong with the way that I talk? Is there anything wrong with the way that I appear? Like they're asking you about, they're, they're asking for you for your opinions about them because they're, they're facing a situation where they're not able to either make friends or they're not able to maintain relationships or they're not able to work with other people that's what i'm sensing so i feel like you're in a position where you're kind of shedding light on a situation hence you know moving that flower pot into the sun you're shedding light into the situation you're you're able to give um advice or you're able to shed light into a per, uh, for a person you're able to shine a light for a a person regarding a situation or a problem that they've had okay so I hope the reading is helpful for you guys and I hope it is timely. I hope it is helpful. I hope it resonates. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Take care of yourself and uh, have a wonderful week of December 3rd. Bye-bye.